chose to study the grazing behavior, diet selection, and meat quality implications of the criollo cattle that we're raising, in part because there was a body of what I would call favorable myths suggesting that the criollo were better adapted to the landscape, less destructive, perhaps more genetically or biologically suited to function as a domestic grazing animal in a relatively wild and very diverse but semi-arid landscape. So I felt that if we could conduct some scientific research that would provide some answers. Uh, there have been some previous studies done by the Ag Research Service at the Hornada and by others in Chihuahua, Mexico, um, suggesting that the Criollo traveled further from water and used a broader selection of plants and that um, they were less likely to overgraze the landscape. We sell all natural grass fed or range fed beef direct to the customer. And one of the claims of the grass fed industry is that um, the diet that grass fed animals or range fed animals consume leads to um, a lipid profile that would be considered heart healthy or more human health friendly and uh, consequently I wanted to try to get some scientific data that would tell us if that myth was true or not. Uh, secondly, if what we thought we knew about these cattle turned out to actually be true and verifiable through good science, that would be a useful tool for marketing the meat. And so those were my real goals. And, and lastly, I guess, would just be the, the idea that if we could find a true link between lipid compounds in the animal and the fat soluble compounds from plants showing up in stored body fat in the beef animal would truly tell us that the flavor profile has a reasonable claim to being the flavor of the land or the flavor of that plant community that ecosystem you know, the idea of terroir and um, wines and cheeses have been marketed that way forever. Why not meat? So that was what I was thinking.